the data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. But they don't have lawyers, they don't have, they, they, they don't have accountants, but they have great ideas. Does anyone doubt this whole nation would be better off from the investments those people make? And I promise you, that's why I set up this. That's much broader because they're going to get those loans. All right. Interesting video. There's uh, quite a few things I want to talk about from this video. Uh, so President Biden saying that black business owners um, have the same amount of uh, opportunity. Well, not opportunity, but they can potentially uh, succeed just like some of these other non-black communities, but they don't have access to attorneys or accountants. Now, three things I want to talk about in this video. First thing, and that is business longevity. You want to build a process and you want to build relationships. I got to nail down the two most important relationships usually are. Well, three. One is your attorney. You must have a powerful attorney. All right. Your attorney is going to create the contracts, the deals. They're going to protect you. They're going to let you know. Not. It's not just even the law. The attorney has other clients that are doing what you're trying to do. So your attorney could be a resource to connect you and plug you in with other people in relationships and other clients they have. So that attorney is extremely valuable. And many times you do not have to pay the attorney up front. That's just like in real estate. Some attorneys get paid at closing. So it's not always ex as expensive as it may seem. All right. So uh, you got to have attorneys and accountants. They're going to be the ones that hook you up many times with the distribution companies, etc. cetera. Uh, second, you also want to have a good marketer. You got to have. Okay, because no matter how good your product is, you got to have the word out. You got to have the message and you got to keep putting that information over and over again. But let's go a little bit deeper. Right. That was just point one I wanted to talk about. But point two, the problem is not that black people don't have access to attorneys and accountants because there's a lot of black attorneys, a lot of black accountants. Um, but we have lack of we have a lack of capital. Right. To be able to understand how do we afford them, pay them, but not just the capital, but. People are the people that we need. Right. We typically uh, try to work on our product and develop the best product. And we don't really think much about how we're going to market it. Fifty percent of your product or your business should just be based on the product or less. And then everything else can be based on how do you market? How do you distribute? How do you get that message out? How do you build that system to consistently do it? So this one, we got to change our mindset. with being willing to put money up. But two, we don't need necessarily to wait on a bank to give us loans and capital. Other communities, they circulate money with each other. They give each other their own loans. This is why it's great to get access to things like cryptocurrency and real estate, because these are assets that can pay you passively and they typically will increase over a long term market cycle. So over the long term, if you've had Bitcoin and you hold it for four years, you have did a 10 X on your money or more. All right. This is just the history. Uh, and many other coins are similar. Even when the price goes down, long term assets are valuable and you can then get loans and you can get yourself a loan. That's why crypto is so amazing. But similar things to real estate. Right. So the more that we own actual assets and we own properties and we don't have a mortgage on them, we can eventually collateralize that type of stuff for our businesses so that we can be able to operate. So I just want to let you guys uh, just share that. We got to have capital. We got to be creative with the capital. We got to go out for a assets. Sometimes it's better to get the asset first, meaning get your property first, get your crypto first before you even build your business. OK, many times when we build in our business, we going in at it by ourselves. We are alone and you will not succeed alone. So you got to build a team. But to build a team, you need to have something valuable and you need to have time to grow. And the only way you get time is if you have some money on the side, that way you can pay your bills. And many times that money comes in because you own some type of an asset. All right. And many times those assets come when you have relationships because the relationship with this channel is going to show you what cryptos are some of the best cryptos that are safe and less risky than the others where you can start this whole process. 
So last thing I want to say about this video, because I'm going kind of long, but I, I got to mention this, is that in the real estate market, uh, there's going to be a huge change across the whole planet, but especially real estate. But what this is what's happening. So Biden just passed a bill uh, by 2030 or 2035. They want all properties in the United States to be green to be green. What I mean by that is energy efficient. So the old fossil fuels that and they're going to be taxing people if they don't convert their stuff over. So that means we're about to see uh automobiles are going to no longer be like gas automobiles. It's going to be all electric houses, electric everything, a uh, green uh energy. And so with that being said, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to lose their properties because they're not going to have the money to convert a property. They're not going to have the money to keep that. So we're about to see a huge shift in the real estate market. And so this is a great opportunity for those that are savvy and that are ahead of the game, ahead of the curve, and that are planning and being strategic about this. But there will be a change, so we have to brace ourselves for that impact. But with that being said, we'll talk more about this. Hey, what's your uh, opinion? Why do you think? What do you think is the number one thing that, that black businesses and community-based businesses really need? What are the main relationships? What do you think is holding us back? Put it in the comment section. Subscribe to the page. Make sure you get the book series, Shut Up and Hustle.